Did it say something about what's love got to do yeah, with well, it? Yeah. Tina Turner, Mariah Angela Carey? Bassett. She's got, yeah, oh, good, good, good call on the call. There we go, pretty lady. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Yawn and stretch and try to come alive. The shower and the bus starts pumping Out on the streets and traffic starts jumping Folks like me on the job from 9 to 5 I feel like I know that voice Working 9 to 5 What a way to make a living Barely getting by It's all taken and no gift wow. Then just use your mind And they never give you credit It's enough to try of greatness. That was unbelievable. I think I might be a little nervous. I'm just saying, I'm a little starstruck with all that voice coming out the flower. Yeah. Jenny, you're, <laughs> you, you're speechless. I, I am so speechless, but I just want to say, I am so incredibly blown away by your beautiful, soulful voice. It's just magical. Amazing job. Wow. This is my favorite genre of music, heavy pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ken. Like, seriously, that voice is so legendary, as you referred to yourself. It was such a classic performance. I don't even know how you could hit those notes with all of that. Hey, Ruth I Bader Ginsburg can do what she wants, all right? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right, panel, are you picking up on any clues from the performance or the package? Okay, so what I got out of the clues was clothing, crafts, um, cooking, and then Empire. That really stuck out for me. So, of course, I thought immediately Taraja P. Henson from Empire. No, no way. You don't think she sing like that? Not up there. I agree. I don't think it's an actress. Just going off of the clue package at first, Vision of Love, so yep. I thought of Mariah Carey. Um, <laughs> Why do you think we've been holding hands the whole time? <laughs> Reunited and it feels so good. So obviously it's not Mariah. No. So then after I heard the performance, I knew it was someone extremely soulful, has a wicked stratospheric range. I thought I heard Patti LaBelle's voice in there. Oh, you know what? You know what, you might be right, because when I was listening to it at the beginning of the performance, I had a handful of names that I thought it could be in the lower register. But once she got to the end and she hit those big notes, hit those high notes, there's only a few people in the world of popular music that I think could even hit those notes. There's Jennifer Hudson, and then maybe Jessie J from, Jessie a younger, J. You know, from a younger generation. Good she guess. can hit those she notes. Can. She can. That's a good guess, too. She can. That's an amazing wrong guess. With the voice like that and a flower outfit like that, I'm going with Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> you are Bjork. You are Bjork. Bjork wears flowers. I get it. Tweet it and hashtag it. Ken says Bjork. <laughs> it's so obvious. All right, panel. It's definitely question time. Miss Flower, what makes you the flower? Because I'm beautiful and I smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. She does, she does. Did that help you guys at all? Yes! You're a legend, Bjork. <laughs> no one. No. All right, that was an amazing performance. Keep it going one more time for the flower. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the flower mask. Who do you think it is? Well, that was nerve-wracking. I 
never looked at the judges because I was so nervous when I was singing. But at the end of the song, when I saw everyone standing up, I just felt so special. She could still hit those notes in that mouse. Yeah. I was blown away. That's the power of Bjork. <laughs> That's, she got Bjork strength, man. <laughs>